In the last 32 years, I have many customers that ask me, Alex, is this a good time to buy a landed property? Well, the truth is, when the market is going downwards, they are worried that it might not be the right time to buy. But when the market is going upwards, they are also worried that it might not be the right time to buy a landed property. So perhaps let's take a look at what's happening in the landed market last month. Three bungalows around 10,000 square feet were transacted in the core central region. The first property is located at Jalan Tupai, which is um, off Orchard Road, One Tree U Estate. Second property, Delphi, which is off Kemhock Estate. And the third property is a brand new house along 6th Avenue. So let's start with Jalan Tupai. That plot was sold for a whopping $32.5 million. Now you might think that for an old house, 3,093 per square foot is really high. But historically, if you look at the transactions at One Tree Hill, it is a very popular landed estate. And for most of the transactions, it's actually transacting at a premium price. So I'm not surprised that One Tree Hill commands above 3,000 PSF even for an older house. Next, we talk about this estate called uh, Delphi Road, which is off Kemhock Estate. The 9,953 square feet plot was transacted at 24.88 million, which translates to about 2,500 PSF. And that plot itself can be subdivided into two smaller bungalows, about 4,800 square feet each. And again, we look at historic transactions. Brand new houses in the Kemhock Travois area are able to fetch as high as 3,400 PSF or even more. Last and not least, let's talk about this brand new bungalow under construction along 6th Avenue. I believe the plot area should be about 9,214 square feet and the brand new house will be two-storey plus an attic and a basement that can park up to eight cars. So for the transacted price at 27.5 million for a 9,214 square feet plot, that works out to about 2,985 PSF. That's not too bad for a brand new house. So again, back to the question, is this a good time to buy a landed property? Okay, so before I answer this question, let's take a look at things from a different perspective. I'm sure most of you drive and own a car in Singapore. And we know that owning a car in Singapore is a depreciating asset because of the high COE that we are paying. And also, we drive because we can afford it. So by the same token, if you can afford a landed property in Singapore, why not? And knowing that landed property in Singapore will not be a depreciating asset. Regardless it's freehold or leasehold, it will not be a depreciating asset. And I'll explain to you why in our next video. But the truth is, even your property go up by 10-20% or if it comes down by 10-20%, as long as you're not selling the property, it's just a paper loss or a paper gain. It doesn't really make you any richer or doesn't make you any poorer. But what's important is the ability to hold on to a landed property to own it comfortably and not having to sell it under time pressure or financial pressure. Perhaps you can type your comment below and share your thoughts on this.